What's going on everybody? My name is Foxine and thank you so much for joining me here today as we continue our adventures in Stardew Valley Expanded with mods. If you missed the last episode, make sure you check that out. The playlist will be in the description below. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as well. It really helps support the channel. And if you'd like to get notified for when I post more videos like this one or when I go live in the future as well, make sure you hit that notification bell. So let's jump back into it here. <clears throat> um, last episode we did the first two days and this episode we're going to try and do at least another day. I know uh, we are going to be keeping the episodes pretty short if we can help it. So we're going to, let's see, it's raining today. We're going to have to do any crop work. How nice is that? So, what do we want to do? Do we want to go fishing or do we want to go foraging and... Well, we can't go mining. So, since we can't go mining... We might as well do this. Let's put our pickaxe away and grab this. We're not going to need this today. Um, I don't foresee us needing our axe either. I want to get some more foraging stuff because I want to get more foraging seeds. Um, also, we need to finish this introduction that's quest. We've only got like four more people, three more people to meet. So, let's see who we need to meet. We've met, or rather haven't met, that we can meet. Pam, Harvey, and Leia. Pam will be in the saloon at night. Harvey will be in the clinic. And Leia will be down here near her house. So. Let's see if Leia is actually down here. Uh, I'm super excited about this series. Like I said last episode, I really want this to be a long series. I want to see where it goes. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I need any and all feedback that you guys have to offer. I will make sure to respond to any comments that I receive because they are very important to me. Um, I like to know what you guys think about the series since you're the one watching it. I'm just the one playing the game, right? And if you have any mod suggestions, let me know. I was looking at some mods uh, to add on top of what we've already got. And I was, I was thinking about a couple of them, but I want to see what you guys think first. I want to know what mods you guys are interested in seeing before I add some more of the stuff that I want to play around with. We just got to be a little bit careful about what we add into it so that there's no mod conflicts with what's already in, already installed. Uh, let's head over here to the forest. This is usually a pretty good place for forageables. So, oh, we can go to the, uh, the vineyard now, the abandoned vineyard. Since we have some inventory space, we might as well Nice, we needed that daffodil. That means we can make some more seeds, right? No, we needed, uh, we needed horseradish. That's right. Well, maybe we'll get lucky and find some horseradish. Let's pop into this vineyard, though, because I know there's an artifact that we can pick up in here. I think this vineyard gets restored at some point, too. Have we got silver quality dandelions? Nice! That's money. Oh, and it's raining, so... We don't know what our community center bundles are yet, but there's always a fish tank bundle. Um, and there are only certain fish that you can catch in the spring while it's raining from the river. And we need to get those. So we're going to probably try and grab some of those. Speaking of river, I think this is considered a river, so let's give it a try. Um, I know this river has very difficult fish to catch, so I'm not expecting greatness. But this is our first cast, so maybe we'll get lucky. Ooh, it looks like we may, we may have a bit of luck here. What are we going to get? A sunfish. All right. Yeah, we take that. Let's try one more. 
it's 10 20 i want to make sure we get to the uh clinic before it closes because i want to meet harvey i really want to get that intro quest done today we also want to make sure we meet leia if we can Ooh, that's a this is gonna be a tough fish Oh, we missed it. Oh, well. Okay, let's just continue on because we need to catch some fish in the actual river near the town. So I'm not really worried about this tiny little river right here. I know there's a very, very difficult to fish or to catch fish there. It's called a Dorado, I think. Man, when I was trying to catch that before in like another playthrough of this, rough very very difficult i only know it existed because i was like well since i'm starting this over i'm gonna i'm gonna cheat and see what the hell this damn fish is giving me so much trouble and that's what it turned out to be is a dorado very very difficult fish to catch um we haven't found any why can't we pick that up must be a quality. Gold. A. Hey. Uh, we haven't found any horseradish. Which kind of sucks. Because that's what we need. We need the horseradish more than this other stuff we're picking up. We're not having any luck. Let's see where Leia's at. Um, she is in her cottage. Okay. Harvey's in the clinic. So let's try to go to Leia's cottage. I don't think we're allowed in until we're friends with her, though. Um, but maybe, maybe it changed since this is, uh, expanded, who knows? Maybe the rules have changed. Nope. Rip. Ripsy doodles. Okay. Well then we're gonna, we're gonna go to the clinic and play in some garbage on the way. Cola. Yo, what do we get rid of? I guess this. I'm excited. I'm excited. What are we going to get? I like digging in the trash. Sometimes we'll get a fancy hat. The lid like explodes off. It's hilarious. Uh, 90 gold to anybody who catches three anchovies. All right, we'll give it a try. Uh, where is Harvey, though? Man, nobody is out today. Because it's a raining, I guess. So, like, nobody's... Nobody's outside. They're just, like, in their rooms. They're not even, like, running their businesses. Is the clinic closed today or something? No. 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. He should be there. I don't know. Uh, that's very unusual. He should be running the clinic, but he's he's currently not. It's very strange. We got two when we picked that up. That's cool. We haven't sold one of each of these yet. Um, we're gonna sell these because they're worth some money. Sell this fish, sell, I don't wanna sell the leak, but let me see. I know we haven't sold one. Let's go ahead and sell it. Okay. Um, pop these in here. That in there. Let's go ahead and sell the mushrooms. Mushrooms are good for energy, but they're also good for money. And we like money. I'm trying to think of some areas that we haven't checked yet for horseradish. We already went the long way around, didn't we? I think so. I don't think we're going to be able to do the meet and greet quest today. Unfortunately. That kind of sucks. Um, Pam might be in the, in the inn though. Nope. Man, nobody is where they're supposed to be right now. Pam's all the way over in Jojamar. What is happening? Hmm. 
Intriguing. Let's try and catch these anchovies that Willy wants. At least maybe we can get a quest done. It's 90 bucks. Why not? And it'll help raise our fishing skill. Ooh, nice. Artifact spot. Give me something good. You know, a book? Meh. Books are okay, I guess. I don't think... Is there an achievement for getting all the books? Or better yet, like... An actual reward? Hmm. Let's get these anchovies. I don't know if they can be caught in, like... I don't know what, but the conditions are to catch anchovy. There's a sardine. Oh wait, before we forget, because we want to take advantage of the rain, we're gonna go grab the uh, the river fish, the one I know of. Uh, I know there's catfish. We're definitely not catching a catfish. It's gonna be too hard. But I want the shad. It's like a green and black fish. Um, that's what we really want. Because that's what we needed last time in our community bundle. So, if we can get that this time and get it early, then we won't have to wait until it rains again. It's getting kind of late too, but we want to, we really want to, we really want to get those anchovies, but we also want to get this, this, uh, the shad fish thing. Soggy newspaper. Yo, wait a minute. I think if we put this in a recycling machine, it has a chance of getting us cloth. Yeah, that's the catfish. I'm going to hold on to this newspaper. Not a sponsor. Okay. Um Oh, maybe maybe this is the this is either like a sunfish or a shad. I'm think I'm feeling shad here Hey, there we go. Nice That's what we want Wait Sebastian oh and Willie We love Sebastian. He's so cute Okay, let's try to get this anchovy it's six o'clock Let's get it. I don't know what fish can normally be caught here. The um, Stardew Valley Expanded adds like 18 new fish. And I'm pretty sure Artisan Valley adds fish too. Uh, I don't I don't know for sure. I haven't done a whole lot of research on the mods that add stuff in here because I kind of want to be surprised. There's a new sardine. They're both silver quality too, which is nice. I think we're gonna sell the sardines because we don't really care for them. But we will get the anchovies to, to Willy. So I'm thinking for the next day in the game, we're gonna try um, and find some more horseradish because if we can find like two or three more horseradish, we can make so many more spring seed packets. And those are so good for money. Yo, this fish is giving me some problems. Come on, I'm so close to catching it. Oh, it's so stressful. Come on, come on. Hey, an eel? Yo, I didn't know we could catch that right now. That's huge. We needed that last time and I had no idea when to get it. I thought it was like a summer fish. That's so cool. Those are normally really difficult to catch. What's this gonna be? It's kind of moving weird. What's that herring? Okay. I'm not even paying attention. What's the time? 7.30. Okay. I know this is kind of the boring part of Stardew is the grinding. Uh, but we're getting some cool fish. We're getting some money here. 
this money is going to come in and pretty big because since Pierre's not open today, he'll be open tomorrow, which means seeds. We want to get a head start on some of this early planting. We want potatoes. We want cauliflower. Those are the biggest money makers. Cauliflower takes twice as long to grow as potatoes, but is worth so much money. Herring. We're going to fish a little bit more. Our energy's looking fine, too. I really want these anchovies. Maybe it's like a daytime thing, though. That was a spooky noise. Is this another eel? Come on, 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 come on. Give me the fish, give me the fish. Hey! Oh, it is another eel. Nice! 85 bucks each. We're going to keep at least one of each of these. Just in case we need them for something, you know? You never know. Maybe somebody is like, hey, I need this random fish for a quest or something. This one seems to be moving a little bit more radically than the eel, so maybe it's something different? Oh, it's another eel. Hey, you know what? We take it. Um, Let's get rid of these glasses, because we can't use them right now. We can't use them until we get the recycling machine. Nine o'clock. Ooh, seaweed. We're going to replace the algae. Actually, the newspaper. I know I wanted to keep it. But, meh. We can't use it right now anyway. We can't use it for a while until we get the um, the recycling machine. Oh, one of the mods we have installed here. I think I just missed a fish. One of the mods we have installed here is called Automate. So, I can craft a chest and then whatever machine I put next to it, like, a furnace or even a crab pot is considered a machine anything that provides a function I can put a chest next to it and it'll automatically put stuff into it or take stuff out so I can have like a whole bunch of crab pots in the ocean or in the river with like bait in the chest and it'll bait them for me and then pull in all the catch automatically like every day it's so cool And we have a professions overhaul mod too. We have all sorts of stuff. One of the things I'm most excited for is the tractor. There's a tractor mod installed, which is going to make farming a whole lot easier, but it's very, very expensive. It's like 150,000 gold. It's crazy. But one thing I've never, ever gotten in a stardew game is a horse i've never gotten a horse uh i don't know why i just haven't it just hasn't been a thing that's been on my mind like oh hey let me get a horse like why why a horse but i've seen people play stardew valley and when they play with a horse they like zoom across the map it's crazy how fast it is. So I'm strongly debating getting a horse just for the speed. Because walking around from one point to another in the map, you know, that takes like a whole day. It takes so long. Look, we left the we left the beach at like what, ten? And now it's already twelve? Like, come on. Um, I would like to sell these too, but I'm gonna hold on to it. We're a bit of a hoarder and we want to make sure we're completing any quests that come our way. So we're going to hold on to this stuff. Um, we're going to need this in the morning, this in the morning. We don't need this. We will need this. Let's fill up our watering can and then head to bed. All right. Let me check how we're doing on time here. Okay, so we weren't able to complete the introductions quest, unfortunately, because nobody was out doing anything. 
They were all like stuck inside. Um, all we really did was fish and find a bunch of foraging stuff today. So since not a lot got done, I'm going to go ahead and make this a two day episode where we do two days instead of like, you know, just one. Uh, cause I want to, I want to get actually something done instead of, you know, just fishing. Look, we leveled up in fishing too. Nice. Easy levels. Easy money. 300 bucks. Dang. That's some good money. 613 gold. Day three. We are making bank. Couple things I want to check. Oh wait, I don't really care about that. I want to check this. Living off the land to see when he says, um, wait, what? Oh, I want to check when he says it's salmonberry season. And I want to check when the weather says it's going to rain. That way we can kind of prepare for the next day. Look at all this stuff we have growing. Let's get it all watered and then we're gonna go shopping. So by the time we're watering this, I think it's gonna be time to go shopping. Our watering can, oof, is very limited water capacity until we upgrade it. So one of our first things, one of our first goals as soon as we get the mines unlocked, it's gonna be 2,000 bucks, five copper bars, upgrade the watering can, like ASAP, as soon as we possibly can. We also wanna get the Slime Charmer ring. Um, if you missed the last episode, make sure you check it out. But the Slime Charmer ring will let us get a slime hutch safely, get a slime hutch, without having to build weird fences and crap. Um, we want we want slime produce slimes are super cute we want all of the little slime produce it's so adorable i'm real excited for that mod that's probably one of the mods i'm most excited about pop this crap in here let's do big brain plays and just go ahead and put this away because we're not going to need it while we're wandering around oops as always, let's take the long way around. Might find some foraging stuff. So, anything to raise up that skill early on. Get some of this grass too, maybe we'll get some seeds on the way. This mixed seeds would be huge for us. I think before summertime hits, we're gonna try and cut, us down, cut down as much grass as we can to get summer seeds, or mixed seeds for the summer. Just to save on some money. Big brain. But, enough about the game. I want to know what you guys are playing right now. Tell me what kind of games are currently, um, you know, taking up your time. When you get off work, or when you wake up, or whatever. Uh, what games are you playing? What's kind of, you know, got you reeled in? I'm curious. Uh, I know for a lot of people, it's probably, if you're into it, probably like Pokemon Unite or uh, Monster Hunter Stories 2 on the Switch. Some some really good Switch games are coming out right now. And uh, I'm trying to think of some other games that people are really into. I guess Smite, LOL, League of Legends, stuff like that. I don't know. I usually play stuff like this, like RPG games. That's my jam. I did play Pokemon Unite. I do play it every now and then. Uh, I do really enjoy it, mostly. <laughs> I do get a little, uh, little ragey sometimes. Who the hell is that? Oh, it's Maru. Well, that's interesting. I didn't know she worked here. Man, Harvey's not even dressed up as a doctor. He's just like, hey, I'm here, man. I'm here. You know, don't mind me. If my doctor had a creepy mustache like that, I would not be letting him inspect nothing. 
I don't think so. We can afford kale. It takes the same day, same amount of time to grow as potatoes, and I think it has the same income potential as cauliflower. How many can we afford? We can get nine. We can get a whole plot. Nice. Okay. Um, two, four, six. Okay. 160 divided by 20 is like what? Eight? I think if we go... Hmm. I think if we go to Joja Mart, it'll be cheaper, but... Let's see here. Let's get tulips. They take six days to grow. They're the same price as parsnips, but they take six days, so maybe they are worth more in the long run. That would be interesting to find out. Because I don't actually know. I there are, I know there are like pro players out there that are like, man, I played Stardew since day one, and they have all the crops memorized and all the profits, and that's not me. I'm like, ooh, look, pretty. It is, is pretty. And that's about it. We are not having any luck on getting the, what's it called? The horseradish. We're not finding any horseradish. Day one, we found like four of them or something. There's a, a dandelion. Grab that. There's Andy. Hey Andy, you want dandelion? You're welcome. Hey, when are you gonna give us our strawberry seeds? Oh, he's ignoring me. Well, that's just rude. Here I am, out here with my blue skin and my green hair trying to be real nice and friendly and Andy is like I don't want any part of it that's hateful we need to make sure we're doing the intro quest but we also want the foraging stuff that we can get so from this forest Oh, there's a leak. Noise! Okay. We want horseradish, though. I don't know where horseradish spawns, if it's random. I don't know the rarity. Normally, we can never find leaks, but now... Oh, hey, there's one. Now we're not finding any horseradish. Mushroom, daffodil, or dandelion, I mean. Whatever. Flower. What does this even say? Aurora Vineyard. Another one. Maybe we just didn't go down far enough. I see you. Don't think I don't know what was going on in your brain there. I know. We are not finding any more horseradish. Hold on, I got just myself. Mm. This old lumpy chair is not the most comfortable. But we are not able to get a new one right now. Yo, gaming chairs are so expensive. Especially if you get like a good one that's like got actual back support for us old people. They are pricey as hell. If you get like a, a reasonably priced one, you're either gonna be missing out on comfort or something. Back support, you ain't getting it all. That's for sure. You skipping something. It's all about that brand though. Where are we going? 
No seeds. Oh, we don't have room for wild seeds right now, so we need to pay attention to if we're cutting grass. We don't want to miss nothing. Where's Leia? She's at the end of the pier on the other side of this lake thing. Oh, there was a daffodil there. Let's go grab it real quick. This NPC map location is super helpful. So, to get the intro quest done, we need to meet Leia and Pam, right? Yep. We've already met Pam, technically. She drove us here. But I guess not officially. Would you like a flower, Leia? Oh, she loves it. Leia's an artist. I didn't know that. My partner's an artist. He painted this picture back here. Where's Pam? Why can't I see the damn house? Oh, is she in her house? She's either in the house or in the saloon. I'd go this way. The long way over here, like, oh, I guess I could use the mouse over here, but, um, it's very confusing. We need to make sure we plant these before we go to bed. Got some decent forageables, though. Let's go ahead and drop this off. We can get more spring seeds. We're going to be doing so much planting. Our whole morning day for the next couple days now is going to be like watering until noon. We're going to make sure we have, we're going to have to make sure we get some stuff for energy. What's this quest? Oh, 20 copper ores. How many times have I checked that now? Well, there's Alex and his little dog. Uh, yes, I came to pet Dusty. He's the cutest little doggo. There's Pam. Hi, Pam. What a drunk. Give someone a gift. Here, Pam, you want a dandelion? Hundred bucks. Nice. I know that Gus here has a drink that we really like. It is called Milky, Milky Strawberry Juice. I think. Also, the cola is hilarious. Tastes better than Joji Cola. <laughs> the shade. It's so funny. Yep, milky strawberry juice. We want that because it gives us a bunch of energy. That's only a hundred bucks. We're probably gonna need that. Uh, we're gonna go right back to the farm and plant everything. We're going to plant everything because the sooner we get this in the ground, the sooner we can get it out of the ground. You know what I mean? Man, our farm is a mess. We'll get our watering can here in a minute. Let's go ahead and hoe all this stuff real quick. Oh, you know what I realized? We got eight of these and we have one wild seed in the, uh, in the thing here. Boop. Wait. Ta-da. We need one dandelion, one leek, and one daffodil. And we can make even more money. I'm stoked. Bad part is, the later it gets, the harder it is to see. So we gotta work fast here. Let's see. Let's see how fast we can do this. Are we gonna be able to get our, our 20 other seeds into the ground? I don't know if we will. Let's 
gonna be close for sure and we're already out of energy so we're gonna have to drink this our energy wouldn't be too bad we just had to hoe everything I think when we water everything though uh, in the morning time that we're gonna be we're gonna be hurting a little bit oh there's a little crow okay nine o'clock how fast can we get these watered so before I can't see anything nice looks like that was perfect too we have so many seeds now look at this parsnips wild seeds green beans so much stuff we've got like 30 spring seeds in the ground that's big money all right end of day four let's see what happens before we end it off here Oh, 40 bucks. All right. That's fine, I guess. At least we got some quests done, right? Right? Could be worse. But that's where we're going to end it off, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out the previous video playlist in the description below. Also, make sure you check out the next video. So hit the bell for notifications so you know when that goes up or when I go live in the future. If you have any comments for me, any feedback, any questions, whatever you want to talk to me about, put them down in the comment section below. I'll make sure to respond to you. I respond to everybody's comment, so feel free to write something to me down there. But until next time, guys, I'll see you, and thanks so much. Bye!